Hey guys, so today we are having a look, a quick peek into what I carry in my art bag for outdoor sketching on the go. So I always keep this bag ready and packed. When I go outdoor sketching, I always come back and just place it all back in so that I'm always ready to just grab the bag and go wherever I want to. It just makes it a lot easier when you just want to go outside and sketch. You don't have to think of where you want. So always make sure to carry this pouch with me. It's got all my art materials in here. I'll give you a quick tour of what materials are my favorites. And make sure to carry my wallet, of course. A set of old school headphones. These are years old and I really have enjoyed having them with me. A cap because you always want to make sure that the sunlight is out of your eyes and your eyes are protected. This selfie stick which helps me record any drawings that I want to want to share online which I don't record enough but hopefully with the help of this one I will be able to do my recording. The only problem with this one is that um, when the breeze comes it it's not very stable on its legs but it does its job so maybe in the future I will invest in something better. I always carry a nice portable coffee mug. You can't sketch without coffee, I think. And I love to carry a sketchbook that has binding and that is really small and light and easy to carry. So this sketchbook has about 110 GSM. Very comfortable. I like the thickness of the paper. These are some of my outdoor sketches. This one's not so much outdoors. Testing some markers, some cat ear studies, and my latest um, attempt at studying some flowers. So yeah, I would suggest something small and lightweight to carry with you that's easy to go anywhere. So now I'll show you what I tend to carry in my pouch. So I always like to carry some watercolor pencils. I think these are Stadler Luna watercolor pencils. I really like the way that they uh, smooth and glide over the paper. I like the texture that it creates and I generally tend to draw with the darker pencils. And then of course these will just add some highlights to them. I always like to also bunch them in little rubber bands so that, you know, you, if you just want your color pencils then you just grab a bunch of these and you're ready. I also love so many different types of ink markers. Um, this is my brush pen number 24 was highly recommended because apparently Kim jong -gi uses the same brush pen. Um, this is how I created this one actually was used to used with this brush and I came home and added in some more darkness there with an ink bottle. Um, the ink itself. So I have different thicknesses for inking. different things for different purposes I suppose okay my latest discovery has been these Posca markers I am absolutely in love with them I love the brightness and the texture of the markers they're really good for adding like highlights or um, even just sketching with, I totally love them. Oh, 
like the pigment is just so bright and lovely. I also like to carry a bunch of Cabotello pencils. I think these are pastel pencils. Very easy to glide and sketch. And then you can even add like details. Oops. And yes, one charcoal pencil that I'm not really happy with the use of, of just that thread. I might try to purchase something better, but until it's over, I think this one really works well for just a few quick sketches, especially if you want to do like wildlife sketches. Um, this thing just creates such beautiful marks. So yeah, I highly recommend pastel pencils as well. And you should really get a kneaded eraser because it just picks up pigment really well and then you can shape it if you want to remove just a tiny bit of pigment of course it will take a while to get that much off but they erase pretty well not completely but you've got to be patient with it but the nice thing is that it doesn't create the usual dust that normal erasers would create that's why I really recommend getting one of these. A blade to sharpen your materials. Hi, you know, you definitely, definitely need one of those. So I have, I'm not sure what you call these, but you can use them to sharpen your pencils. So it's just a bit of sandpaper and you can rub it against the tip of your pencil and then it eventually creates a nice sharp tip. Yeah, so it's immediately just a little sharper than what it was. And then it immediately creates nice sharp lines. I'm gonna put that away so that it doesn't create all the dust on my work um, and I always carry some extra erasers because you can easily lose them. One of the reasons why I don't carry watercolors or materials that would take a while to dry is that I like to just pick up my bag, shut my book and not have to worry about something taking a while to dry. So yeah, I hope I've given you some ideas of what to carry with you on the go when you go outdoor sketching. Something small, light, quick and easy is just a simple way to get outdoors and do more sketching. Thanks for joining this tour on Drawing with Pre. Catch you in the next one. Bye!